winter, everybody. It's winter. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. Santa Claus is Coming. Here, and we're gonna rank him. Look out! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh He's no! He's gonna find out! He's uh, gonna find out! He's gonna find out! He's gonna find out! We're here to talk about Father Christmas, the patron saint of prostitutes. Hooray! Which one is the king of Christmas? He's the patron saint of sex workers. Let's be clear. All sex workers, so not just prostitutes? Yeah, Wait. all sex workers. Oh, okay, Santa, all sex work. And that was a pimp? Saint Nicholas. No, no, Saint. He was a saint of them. He didn't partake, yeah. he just gave gifts. Oh, so he doesn't subscribe to anyone's OnlyFans. He's just... Well, no, he might subscribe, he just about. doesn't bother to like to, to look. He's just like, oh, you deserve he sees money. All. Everyone he sees deserves... All. His naughty list is loaded. No. He's Everyone not. deserves deserves to be happy. Here you go. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I love the idea of Santa referring to all the girls and maybe guys that he like follows on OnlyFans. Santa's his so naughty... old, he, like there's I, no I, way to quantify his uh, sexuality. But I just love the idea of him calling that list his naughty list. Yeah. <laughs> That's canon. That's <laughs> canon. Capital N, naughty. Uh, so yeah, we, we got some rankings here. We got King of Christmas, Jolly Old Elf, Meh, Free Christmas, Naughty List, and Ho Ho Horrible, which some of these will probably fit on. Surprising number of wrestlers, by the way, portraying Santa Claus. Oh, so, huh. yeah. That's the drunk mall Santa who won't give a child a gun. Yeah, no. The, the you shoot your, your eye out one. The shoot your eye out, kid. I've never watched down, this movie push, in push full. Down the slide. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, no, this guy sucks. <laughs> I hated this guy. I he's hated, a bad Santa. Yeah, I hated this guy. He's not the bad Santa, but he's a bad Santa. He's, yeah. not, he's not the worst mall Santa on this list. I so, mean, he wouldn't give a child a gun, so I mean, that's good. He's, he's, he's arguably, arguably he responsible. He's the always huh? sunny one. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Not giving a kid a gun. Good. Pushing him down with your foot. Not great. That's true. Also, I mean, breaking his, the illusion. His, his elf no. is also an enabler. His elf is kind of a bastard, too. Yeah. Fuck this guy. I'm not going to put him down in Ho Ho Horrible myself, but I am definitely putting him on Naughty List. So he's on Fuck Naughty this List. Guy I... in the sled he wrote it on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'd agree. Naughty List for a Christmas story Santa. Yeah, he yeah. is drunk in front of the children. Yeah. Bad Santa. He's, but he's not creating, bad Santa. That's another Not Santa. bad Santa. He's that's creating bad. core easier. memories for children. They're going to be yeah. like, I think that Santa oh, was drunk he, when I saw he, him. He was responsible enough to tell the kid, you're going to shoot your eye out, and then he almost does. So, you know, spoilers he for a right. Christmas story. He was just a little mean about it. Yeah. yeah. I heard the second sequel to that is actually not bad. There are two sequels? Yeah, the first sequel is awful. Don't watch it. But apparently the second one. Is that the one with Ed Helms? I or, don't No, know. Ed Helms is the National that's Lampoon. The National Lampoon <laughs> one, yeah. Where he's rusty. What movie are we talking about? Don't worry about story. it. Next, next Santa. All right, next Santa. What Aqua the teen. fuck is that? That's Aqua Teen <laughs> Hunger Force post skin transplant Santa, oh. where they replaced his uh, burned flesh with soccer ball flesh. Oh. He's, he's Santa. After. That okay. Oh, oh, horrible. I don't want to look at that. I want that off the screen now. It's not pleasant. Yeah, that is. The, one of the worst things I think I've ever seen Christmas related. I think that's rude of you. Okay. I've never seen He's just trying to exist. Uh, and it seems I, over the course of school <laughs> I know about it. I'm, I'm really sad that you guys are so angry against burn victims. Like, yeah. This is, this is, I'm, I'm. Like, it's ableist, so... it's gross, it's Christmas. I'm, I'm top ranking this Santa <laughs> just because I, I of your piece of shit should, attitude. They should have given burn victim Santa skin. Well, all they had was soccer balls. Okay. Some people aren't rich. They, Do you think they, skin grows on trees, they, Stephen? They had, no, it grows on they, people. They had this bag. It was full of soccer balls. They gave him soccer ball skin. I mean, I'm just thinking. If every child Santa helps donate just a little bit of skin. Just a little. For a Wait, dollar a day. Just a little flesh for your claws. Hold on. Give me some skin. I'm just thinking about trees that grow skin now, though. Skin trees. I got one I in my pants Why right now. Or is skin hanging from the trees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Both? Yeah, 100%. So like this, the skin is like leaves. Yes. And what is the bark? It's like a willow tree made of skin. The, the bark is like is like scabbed over skin. Grandmother Willow 100%. just being like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, not not five minutes in, somebody's already wondering whether or not they should have eaten before Somebody, this. Like, I don't know who. Grandmother. Going back to our Halloween video, like the next, <laughs> the next Terrifier movie is going to be a Christmas movie. Oh. That, that's just that's art. That's art. The clown's Christmas tree. Oh, skin so. mystery. Oh, skin, skin mystery. 
It's, it's get, the skin is tinsel around the tree. The skin is tinsel. Yeah, the skin is tinsel. What was that? How horrible your, your branches. branches. Oh, the uh, branches are so just bones. Horrible? Well, do we all agree he's horrible? Yeah, I, no, horrible. Oh, no. I don't. Naughty list at least. Naughty list at least for him, because he's not a bad Santa just in the show. Yeah, he's exactly. Got fucked over by the okay. we, we should We should allow for that. Just terrible to, to, terrible to behold. He is yes. unpleasant <laughs> to see. <laughs> okay, let's put him in Merry Christmas then. Yes, Christmas? that's okay, fair, that's okay. fair. I'm happy with that. Yeah. You don't want him around, but he's not mean. He's just yeah. like... I'd invite him to Christmas dinner. So I'd here we are, technically... Have, Arthur! So technically we have three Santas here. Three Santas like, this, here. Like, this, oh. the Claus lineage is yeah. what that whole... And they're all about. Santa. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be the guy. I would definitely fuck the guy in the right. Yeah, I'd I can't see much Santa. of him. Is now, it, he is basically a cop. <laughs> he's cop Santa. Oh, <laughs> no. Wow, he's Scott. Santa's a cop, it's him. <laughs> Damn it. I'm surprised. Special Agent Santa. <laughs> Special <laughs> Agent Santa. Okay, if he's a military Santa, he's a cop Santa. <laughs> I love he's his facial hair. I, I've, I remember seeing this movie um, and was actually pleasantly surprised by how good it was. Yeah. I was expecting it to be kind of like middle of the road, but it's a good Christmas movie. Yeah. I haven't seen it. a little Christmas tree. I, I, wouldn't yeah, throw, I, I wouldn't throw them on like King of Christmas, but like, you know, they're, they're, oh, yeah. they're better than men. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're working through their, their family issues uh, in order to become better family Santas. and better Santas. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'd say, you know. These are jolly old elves. And this I is them elves. bonding over a child getting a present. Yeah. Yes. Jolly old elves. Yeah, I like, I like, I like these guys. And I like that Santa very specifically. That's uh, Pat Morita as Santa Claus in Babes in Toyland. I oh. saw Babes in Toyland when I was a kid. I don't remember this. What? Yeah. When was Pat Morita played? Yeah. Played Mr. Miyagi played Santa Claus. That's and awesome. And he's a good Santa. Mm. The movie's not good, but he's good. Well, okay. I trust him intrinsically. I don't. I never saw that movie. I mean, but I the, also the main thing I remember the movie is a, is a wild song about Cincinnati that I find hilarious. <laughs> I remember nothing about Babes in Toyland except Pat Morita. It stars Keanu Reeves and Drew Barrymore. I know, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> well, that's a piece of time. Drew Barrymore plays his little sister. I'd give him like the, the top tier, like King of Christmas or Jolly Old Elf, I think. I don't remember him, so I can't say shit. I, the Jolly Old Elf. But yeah, the fact that you don't remember him kind of keeps him out of King of Christmas territory. Think, that makes sense. So. Okay, jo well, Jolly, Jolly Old, Old Elf. Elf. Yeah. Next up, we got Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, is this bad Santa. God's bad Santa. This is like bad Santa. He's gotta be, he's gotta go on the naughty list, right? He's, yeah. he's absolutely in the naughty list. I mean, he has a character it's, arc, it, which keeps him out of okay, so horrible out maybe, of horrible. Yeah. but yeah. he's also a piece of shit person. But is he less of a piece of a shit at the end? Is he, yeah, is he about on par with Mall Santa? But yeah, that's what gets him up to naughty and not ho ho horror. At the end yeah. of the movie, is he better than Mall Santa? At the uh, end of the movie? At the end of the movie, I'd say he's like, because we don't I really go so. into the backstory of A Christmas Story Santa. We don't know what his deal is. Our limited mm -hmm. exposure to him just puts him down a naughty list. So. Yeah. Uh, I would, I, I feel like I would rank Bad Santa a better Santa than Christmas Story Santa, just because we get to spend more time. Work. Yeah, he spends, he, he, he does, helps the kid. He does some Santa stuff. Yeah, yeah. because that, he. I haven't seen the movie, but I assume. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, it's honestly not a bad movie. Oh yeah, no, Bad Santa's pretty good. Yeah. Like a Christmas Story Santa, we don't, we, we see, the best thing he does is tells a kid he's, you're gonna shoot your eye out with a gun. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton Santa does a lot of good for a kid. Yeah. You know? So hey, that's I, Santa life. He do, yeah, he, yes. does, he does good, he does, he does good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does good. A lot of bad, but good. <laughs> I mean, he's a very flawed person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we talking like bottom of Mary or top and naughty? I say top, top and naughty. Top and yeah. He's, he's still like, he still yeah. spends most of the movie bad. As yeah. a, the movie's called Bad Santa. Now I just want top a nod. I was thinking that I'm hungry now. Yeah. Ho ho capitalism. Cocaine Santa. Hooray. It, it, yeah, it could be cocaine Santa actually. Cause they're all capitalism Santa. Yeah, but all, this is cocaine yeah. Santa. I mean, like this is this is like a Santa that's actually pimping a product. There, okay, I'm sorry. There's one thing that's always bothered me about this Santa. Yeah. His mouth. There's something about his mouth. It looks. You don't like him. Yeah. No. There's something about it. It just it. Wet. Yeah, it's a wet <laughs> mouth. It's a wet, <laughs> wet hole. He's, 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 got, he's got waxed lips. Like he's just a jolly baby up. man. Do you want Santa's wet hole? Yeah, that's ex I'm sorry. His Every ho, time ho, I see hole. it, all I can imagine is how warm and wet his mouth is. The yeah. Thing is, he's Why'd you have to use the word warm? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, it's so red. Santa's always warm. Yeah, it's so red. It but looks so warm. The problem and is, wet. take away the beard and what do you have? 
Ah, an old baby. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Which is sort of perfect for Santa. That's though. why, yeah, it's intentional, I think, I like, but it is horrifying. This is a quintessential Santa to me. Honestly, I, honestly, look. That's is, so sad. Isn't it? <laughs> well, I it's, mean, it's the image of Santa. Yeah, no, look, in terms of image, this is quintessential Kringle. <laughs> Which says a lot about how our version of Santa Claus has maybe been informed specifically by people selling us products. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, that's 1, what Santa's always been. He's always been about, give me something. Give yeah. me, give me. Milk and cookies. There's an exchange here. Yeah, we are giving you cook, cook and milkies and maybe Coke. Cook and, and milkies. Cook, cook and milkies. Cook and milkies. Make me cough. No, that's bad Santa. Cookies. <laughs> Santa special cookies, cookies. Cookies. He's in meth. Merry Christmas. I, 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 I would not put him below Merry Christmas. Yeah, so here's here's the thing. If he weren't capitalism Santa, I would put him up in jolly easy. Maybe just based on looks alone. Just based on looks, right, based yeah. on his warm, wet hole. It is warm, wet hole. Yeah. But like, but unfortunately, yeah, he's Coca-Cola Santa, which immediately okay, takes so him down. Immediately takes him to Matt. put him yeah. below or above soccer skin I'm gonna Santa. I'm going to put him above, above soccer, soccer skin okay, Santa. Okay, okay. I would rather spend time with soccer skin Santa than a shaved baby wet hole Unshaved Santa. <laughs> well, it depends. Is he bringing Coca-Cola? He's a Benjamin Button Santa. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is true. If he's gifting mm -hmm. us the soda, it has a bow on it. Is it classical That's the cocaine question. coke? That's the question. Mm. Is it I'm Mexican gonna... coke? I mean, it's in a glass bottle, so. It... But but that's actually a lie. A lot of like a lot of things that say that they're sugar nowadays. No, it's just high fructose corn syrup because they can just lie because yeah. they're Coca-Cola. I was gonna say like whenever whenever I have a Mexican coke, I'm like that just tastes like normal coke. Mm. Well, they don't taste different unless it tastes different to me. It tastes different in my heart. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is Yo! from uh, Ernest Saves Christmas. Yes, I made sure to add this one. <laughs> I did. I was thinking about adding the guy, the guy that is is his successor as this well. Is, but we don't see that guy be Santa very often. Okay, the Ernest movies were like a, a, a large part of my childhood. Honestly, mm. Scared Stupid probably the most watched in my book. Mm -hmm. uh, but this guy is the first one that I'm actually like leaning towards King of Christmas. He, like, look at that. That is Santa and he, energy. And he's got a delightful voice. He's the voice of the yeah. Sultan from Aladdin. Yeah. And, uh. and he looks like him. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love this kooky old Santa. He is so, he is so charming and so sweet. I love and, him. And a little bit like, and he's still like, he can be grumpy. And I kind of like that in, in a Santa. I like a Santa who can be a person. Yeah, you need, you yeah. need some Santa with some edge. Yeah. yeah. He's like, shut up sometimes. Or he's like, stop it. Like, yeah. I, I can only deal with Jim Varney for so long. Yeah, no. <laughs> you should, like, yeah, no one wants to be around her. Never, never have a Santa who's always happy. That man has problems. That man, yes, that he's man has. Something. Yeah, his marriage is failing. I've never seen the movie, but I'm going off vibes, and I will. I want him to be a top tier for the reasons following. One, his skin. Doesn't the skin, rosy. the rosiness Rosie of the cheeks. tails, Sit even without wearing the suit, he radiates Santa you know energy. He's, Santa. he's yeah. hot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the the twirl of the mustache is extra points. It's a very well kept beard. Like mm. it, like there's no delineation between the hair and the it, beard. His it's, eyebrows are like kind of fl like like sort of. He looks wizardy almost. Yeah, go out, but like it, it doesn't look villainous, even though it by all rights it should. Uh huh. Yeah. And that's how you know he has real Santa vibes. Yeah. <laughs> there's genuine kindness to those so, eyes. So so King. Is he a king? He's a king. I put I put him up in king. He's Hell not, yeah. He might not be yeah. top and king. He put up with Ernest P. Worrell. Yeah. Mm. That's saintly. That's but saintly. Seen, that is. All right, so I'm about to say something that like is probably going to get me a lot of jeers. I've never seen Elf. Oh, oh. man, like interesting. I, you'd probably like it, honestly. Oh, yeah, you know, it's, I probably would. It's, yes, it's a, it's a top ten Christmas movie for me, easy. Christopher hates it because they keep showing it at the Alamo Draft House, and people who watch this ah, movie are fucking. So assholes. yeah, you just don't have an opportunity because because <laughs> Christopher had it murdered for him. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I understand why they had that movie party though. Like it's. It is genuinely just a joyous Christmas movie. I yeah, should, I should really go see the movie Party for Elf. This is this is Will Ferrell in his prime. Oh yeah, yeah. no, yeah. I hear this is like this is one of his best comedy movies where he's just that um, right amount of absurd. Where where him being a man child works it, very well. It, like works, um, it makes sense, and people don't put up with it. They hate it. Yeah. They hate that he's a man child. And like in the same vibe of the previous Santa, he puts up with this. Elf, and he's saintly for that. I would rank this as a top tier. I remember the Santa being really cool. He's, he's a great Santa. Mm. I, I don't remember the actor who is portraying him in this movie. Well, yeah. I'm going to abstain myself, but I am going to assume that you are correct. Yeah, he looks I, great. I, I, I put him in Jolly Old Elf, but I, I just because I don't remember being like particularly special. It's because he's not a big part of yeah. the movie. So yeah, yeah I, I would agree up. with that, but I would put him above the 
So top Arthur's of, Christmases, personally. Yeah, right. so top, top jolly of jolly. All right. Top of jolly. That's fair. Top of jolly. Yeah. Now here's a historical... Father Christmas. Father Christmas. I, I, I like this addition, but so are, are there more... Where than... did you get this drawing of me? Is he getting a blowjob in this Te book? Technically, this is the ghost of Christmas uh, present, but that's Father Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the same guy. So question then... Hold up, hold are... up. I, I can do this. <laughs> There we go. It's the same. What is the difference between these two photos? <laughs> um, that being said, uh, so there are a lot of different, uh, you know, Father Christmases slash Ghosts of Christmas Present. Um, this, I, is, this is Anglican Santa. Mm -hmm. I, to be fair, I love Christmas, like, uh, like the Ghost of Christmas Present so much in mm -hmm. every one of them because he's always fun. He's always like big and Come jolly. Come and know me better, man. Yeah, I, I love Father Christmas. Uh, so if I had to choose him, I would actually put him at the like. At the very least in Jolly, I might put him in Kings of Christmas because I always love that character. Like the, the yeah. only issue I have with putting him in Kings of Christmas is like, while he is, yes, like the Father Christmas type, he, he just doesn't radiate that Santa vibe true. for me. True, mm -hmm. he does He does lack that quintessential. If, if we're going, but we, but if we're we going are, with- We are colored by a specific idea of it's Santa. It's true, mm -hmm. but that like kind of plays into my brain a bit. And that color is red. <laughs> yeah, I would put him at bottom of King of Christmas or top of Jolly Old Elf because I think he embodies what Christmas is supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. about having fun and yeah. joy and He's the Christmas named season. Father Christmas. Yeah, I'm sorry, but like Father Christmas to me needs to be in Kings of Christmas. He may not be the quintessential American type of Santa. I, I, I put I put him below Ernest. Okay, okay Ernest fine. Santa. Yeah, but fine. Okay, I, 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 I'd say that's I'll, fine. I'll make that. I'll make that. He's a little general, so like you know. And there are also many different versions of well, him. Well, most of our Santas here are more specific. Than yeah. Him. Wait, wait, hold on. What's who's your favorite? Uh, uh, Christmas, uh, uh, sorry. Okay, your fa favorite, favorite Christmas, uh, yeah. Present favorite. Ghost. The one from the Muppet movie. Same. Yo! Mm. Okay, Muppet, cool. Muppet movie is top tier when it comes to that stuff. My, my mother- My, my <laughs> least favorite is the Jim Carrey one that's very scary. Oh my God. <laughs> He's so scary. Uh, my, my mom absolutely adores the Mr. Magoo Christmas Carol. Hmm, uh, like, interesting. We watch it every year because that's something that she grew up on. It has these lovely little whimsical musical numbers. Ah, Paul Giamatti! <laughs> <laughs> he looks good as Santa. Honestly, yeah. He, he like, the rosy cheeks. No, normally, now, when it comes to Paul Giamatti, I, I look at him and I think, weasel character, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, he's, he's always either like, like he, he's got kind of a smarmy vibe to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a wonderful actor. But, yeah, yeah, but he's good at playing those kind of characters. Yeah, right? so when it comes to, like, when he was Santa, and I think this was, what, Fred Chris, or, like... Fred Christmas. Yeah, Fred, Fred, Fred Claus. Claus. Sorry, Fred, Fred Claus. Claus. Wait, yeah. hold on, I'm sorry, what is this? Uh, this Fred is Claus. Fred Claus. Uh, uh, Paul Giamatti trailer, from Fred Claus. In the trailer of the movie, he has a, a, a contentious relationship with his brother. Mm. Oh. Fred Claus, Fred, this isn't Fred Claus. Yeah. Fred Claus, Fred Claus is, 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 uh, is uh, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. So like the movie seems like it sucks, but. <laughs> it's, it's it, Honestly, it's okay. I've never heard of this movie. Oh. I've never seen anything. But it's movie. a very mid but, Christmas but if you, movie. If you ask me whether or not I'm siding with Vince Vaughn or Paul Giamatti Santa, I'm siding with Paul Giamatti Santa, oh, so. Yeah, and I, I feel like the reason they cast Paul Giamatti is because he looks like he could be related to Vince Vaughn. And, and, he, and he also looks like he's done with your shit. Yeah. It's like, look, Fred, you're, Fred, you're you're a shitty Claus. You're a yeah. shitty relative. I, we we invite that's you because sad. we have to. That's <laughs> his like negative attitude is like, Dude, fuck, like, He's he's almost an antagonistic force in the movie. Mm. Yeah, but that's just because it's from Fred's perspective. But he's Vince Vaughn. It's true. So he's an asshole. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. So y'all, just imagine if Vince Vaughn were related to Santa and were an asshole about it. Okay. J just just rate it just rated on vibes and stuff like that. I can dig the Man. gun with me stuff, but I would honestly put him below Soccer Ball Santa. Sure, I, I I'm okay with that. I didn't right. watch the movie. I'm just going by the trailer. <laughs> All right. I just can't buy Paul Giamatti as Santa. Like that's that's my vibe. Here we go. Okay. Futurama. So Santa this bot. so this one's kind of weird because <laughs> he's horrible, but he's also amazing. Well, it's just because his factory settings got switched. There's a oh my god. Have you seen the latest season? Not yet. No. Oh, they do. I something. haven't seen the latest any. Like the last time, the last one I saw was like the time loop finale. The latest season has one of the best Christmas episodes. It's, really, it's got a really neat story. I really like it. It's fun. But this guy, because his factory settings can do this. Mm -hmm. I think that puts him in horrible. Instantly, a Santa shouldn't have the capacity for this. Yeah, mm. no, he's a, look. He's we a, want some flaws, we don't want, I could murder everybody. Well, remember, his murder is what brings people together on Christmas. That, no, <laughs> no, 
that, that was the, that a lot was the plot of the say first. That movie. about in the and you'd be wrong. Every I time. know, I know. But that was the <laughs> that was literally the plot of their first yeah. Christmas episode was that uh, his rampage brought them together. Yeah, right. I, I will say that. That's just looking for hope in in a dark situation. Yeah. <laughs> He, he belongs in Ho Ho Horrible, but in our hearts, he'll always be a king. I put him at the top of Ho Ho Horrible, personally, well, at only... the moment. <laughs> it's only that, so. Yeah. So what is this? This is the Hogfather. Mm -hmm. So there's a version of Santa Claus in Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. Oh, Who, shit. who um, at one point, uh, Death, this is Death. Say hi to Death. Hi, Death. He's the nicest guy in the world, by the way. Oh. And he becomes Santa. And oh. and you guys have probably seen the bit at some point where like he's like, he's like giving a child a, a gift and he's like, the agreement is you will be nice and I will give you this gift and the kid's like okay he's like, the deal is is done or something yeah, like he deal. he's talking he's like a creepy little guy but he's like, but he's like the nicest creepy little guy mm, in the world yeah. okay and I would put him in Kings of Christmas I like oh, that yeah okay I I need to I need to read this world. I have yeah, to, oh, yes, you do. I actually have this. Everyone needs to read Discord. I have this world on Audible. I need to start it's, it. He is like start with Hogfather. He's 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 a he's a great depiction of both death, uh, less so a great depiction of Santa. I, I don't know if I'd put him in Kings of Christmas. He he he's a good he's and he, he's not you know he technically he's not Santa he's Hogfather and I it's think true. he's a great Hogfather. All right, new, we have, new section, Hogfather. <laughs> Caveat, yeah, Hog best Hogfather. Yeah, yeah, best Hogfather. He's just, also technically not an elf. Not but, elf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, add a row. Oh, <laughs> above. Yes. yes, above. All righty, Hogfather is in the Hogfather category. Jingle all the way. Wood. <laughs> Wood? Wood. Smash. All right. Well, it's the big show. The first wrestler on our list oh, to enter oh, is Santa Claus. This oh. is the big show. Oh. Paul White as the giant mall Santa from Jingle All The Way. I never knew it was a big show. It was. Yeah, I- He's a big oh, boy. Horrible. Yeah, no, he's, he's horrible. He's oh yeah, no, he's a- He's literally part of like a fucking thing that-, that Ripped that, off that, kids and on yeah, Christmas, yeah. Children. Yeah, fuck it's him. true, yeah, he's, he's part he's of the- He's part of the- He's anti-Santa. Yeah. Yeah, he's the anti-Santa. So, I, I, I needed to include him in here, because, I mean, look at him compared to Arnold. He, and he's also a character who would not be in the movie if Arnold Schwarzenegger weren't the star. Mm. There's no way that character was in the movie before Arnold Schwarzenegger was starring in it. Huh. Okay. They needed a, a scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger was punching something. Yeah, mm. and I mean... There wouldn't have been an action scene in Jingle All the Way. I'm, uh, uh, I feel like, like Jingle John All the Cusack Way had was... to have been made with Arnold in mind. I don't know. I, I'm certain it was not. I, I am. I don't know who else you would cast in that. I think movie. they changed the script to to accommodate. Dude, they I'm, must have. I am yes. almost. I am almost certain that at some point they were trying to cast for this movie, and then they've got Arnold Schwarzenegger and they made some alteration. Yeah, it was. It was like a, a Chevy Chase movie or like oh, something God. else. So someone else, someone else who put like Robin Williams, whomever, right? Mm. I, I can't imagine Robin Williams I, like in that. Yeah, yeah, beleaguered father in in like the the mid to late nineties. Who who would you cast for that? Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry could have been, could have done it. Um, the late nineties. Uh, again, like he could have done it like a John Bruce Cusack, Willis, maybe. Boring. Bruce Willis might have done oh, it. Oh, Bruce Willis and, uh, and Jingle All the Way could have been kind of. He's, he's already got his Christmas but, thing. But down, yeah, he's so. horrible. Jim yeah. Cowie. Yeah, you no, know, he's ho ho horrible. <laughs> ho ho horrible. Yeah. Uh, above or below Robo Santa? Below. At least one's fun. Yeah. Robo Santa at least has a good setting. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Where? Who? Um, All right. So, so in Japan, talking, <laughs> the Kentucky Fried Christmas. We can't escape this. In, in Japan, there's a whole. Th you want? Would you like to explain it as someone who was just in Japan? Yeah. Actually, when I was there, I actually got a picture of one of the uh, colonels outside dressed up as Santa. Mm. Um, the entire thing is uh, way back in the day, con uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken wasn't doing that well in Japan. It wasn't doing horribly, but they came up with this ad campaign specifically around Christmas. And they were like, like, hey, remember what a Coke did? <laughs> yeah, well, it was, it capitalized on a holiday that is very secular and it's more of a couple's holiday, actually. Some families do celebrate. Mm -hmm. And one of their big things so was- get like a bucket of yeah, chicken? Yeah, give yourself a bucket of chicken mm -hmm. and, and you can actually get Christmas cakes, which a Christmas oh. cake is a very common thing out there. It's oh. usually just a kind of like a vanilla chiffon with strawberry. And it's, you know, they were like, hey, this is the place for Christmas. Mm. So every year, KFC gets a back order on Christmas cakes and like sells a ton of fried chicken, and it's really and I, funny. And I get the impression that KFC is a little bit better over there. Uh, look, it, a it, lot it, of food is, from what I understand. Yo, I was so mad when I got back to the states. It's not. <laughs> even, it's our, not our fast food is is objectively worse. Yeah, I, I, apparently. I'm not going to be that person who says 
Japan thing better, okay? I'm not. I genuinely am not. Just but, not American. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, I'm sorry, but the food is just better. And KFC was included in that. KFC is, in fact, better in Japan. They have, like, higher cleanliness standards and things like that. They, they higher use... Higher health standards. Yes. <laughs> and literally at every step, their standards are higher uh, when it comes to their food. But this now, is. How do you uh, feel about him at the Santa? This is, this is capitalism. Yeah, no, he's exactly. capitalism. He, he goes in math. Yeah, yeah. I, no. In fact, I wouldn't even put him on the list. I would have disqualified him for just being the colonel in a Santa outfit. He is not Santa. Mm. Okay, well, then let's put him in horrible. Bottom of horrible. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I can't put him, like. He is just selling you something, and he's. Yeah, and he's a yeah, plantation that, owner. Yeah, but that, <laughs> at that point, <laughs> we I, just proved that yeah, in our fast yeah, food video. Oh, you said that. In, fact, that. in yeah. fact, apparently the guy the colonel is based off of said a food. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe just meh. Maybe he just belongs at the bottom of meh. Uh, yeah, let's just put him in meh. But let's just put him in meh. He doesn't embody any of the characteristics of Santa, well, though. He's not giving. It's that. capitalist. That, that's very meh, honestly. But I think he's horrible. But he's actively... He's not, he doesn't let's, okay, garner let's, enough of an opinion to be horrible. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah. Let's, let's split the difference and put him in naughty. Okay. All right, All right. fine. All right. Uh, bottom, bottom for me. Bottom and naughty. I'll put him at the top and naughty. Okay. It's a top, top and naughty. More top, top and naughty. naughty. Yo, is, is the next one the one I think it is? I believe that, so. That is Klaus. Ah, uh, fuck yeah, Klaus. J.K. Simmons, J.K. Simmons Santa. Santa. Oh, I actually fine. haven't seen this, but I heard it's, it's good. A, it's a delightful little movie. It looks beautiful. Wood. Voice acting <laughs> is very spotty in the movie. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll get, I'm assuming J.K. is. A, J.K. does a great job. Yeah. It's the other actors who don't have less experience in voice acting yeah. who. Gotcha. Spotty track. But yeah, Wood. I also would. Wood. If it's his voice. Wood. Wood. He, he, well, he's, he's, wood. he's like a kind of like. He's kind of scary at first, but he's, he's, he turns out he's actually like a very sweet, sweet guy. He likes to like keep tempo. So, so, so he's <laughs> so it's the anti. So it's his character from Whiplash, if reversed. <laughs> he never gets nice in Whiplash. Yeah. Well, no. He start, he starts out charming at the very least. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I get you what you're saying. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I I like. I've only seen bits from the movie, but every bit with him has been fantastic. He's great. He's awesome. He's he, animated incredibly well. He does, he does, he does radiate that old, kind man energy. But he's also got his own, like, he's got his own personality. He is not just, like, nice, sweet old guy. And just animator note from me, this this is a, this is what the frames of the movie look like. This isn't just promotional art. All, the entire movie oh, wow. looks like this, like it's painted. Yeah, wow. they... They they, they they created a, 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 a amazing, like, like sort of system of... of Cre tracking shadows and stuff to like do digital shadows. That's just insane. It's proprietary and uh, I'm jealous of it. And um, yeah, good movie uh, and be better better looking movie than it is even written. And it's not oh, written yeah. badly. <laughs> I'd say it's It'd written be, fine. It's fine. Now, yeah. would, you, would you put him in Jolly Old Elf or King of Christmas at this point? I, I would argue King of Christmas. He embodies much like a Father Christmas. It's a very good Santa origin story. Yeah, okay. it's it, he. Is, oh, another origin story. Great. Yeah. I, I, so many times I can see Uncle Ben die in in the Santa Claus stories. Uh, I would put him in uh, Kings of Christmas because he embodies everything. But I, I would put him under Father Christmas because yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Un under the Christmas Carol character. Yeah. Okay. This is probably the best wrestler depiction of a Santa. This is Mick what? Foley. What? Mankind Cactus Jack. And you know, Mick Foley looks like a delightful Santa. Santa. He oh is. my God! He absolutely, absolutely is. is. He's a delightful man. He's, but, yeah, he's he's a he's really? a genuinely yeah, just kind person at this point he's concussed beyond all hell but <laughs> wrestlers are either delightful men or horrible men yeah. there's no in between that's that's his real beard too so like this this oh. man is just like i he did this to like do some like make a wish stuff for charity oh. so like okay. this is that's awesome I, I i would not go below jolly old elf for mick foley see i am so out of touch with all this if you just told me like oh yeah this is a guy that they hired to be on the set for a ww whatever thing. I'd be like, oh, that sounds right. Knowing that's Mick Foley, though. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. That's mankind. Damn. Yep. And his hat's inside out. Yep. <laughs> it, it, it is? Wait. I kind of like him more. Wait. Well, you can see that, like, the, the, the actual fur is, is, is not. Ah. See, the hat's inside out. But wait. I think. That, well, wait, no, no, yeah, the, the, but the, yeah, the ball wouldn't work, yeah. though. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. Huh. The hat looks inside out. Yeah, it looks wrong. Out, the hat yeah. looks wrong. He's, he's, got, he's got a great look, and he just kind of embodies the like, as a real life person seems to embody a lot of like the genuine nature of Santa. Uh, 
Yeah, honestly, I'd, I'd, I'd put him in Jolly Old Elf, personally, but Mick Foley is also one of my I, favorite I, I'd wrestlers. I'd put Mick Foley himself in Jolly Old Elf, I think. So, top of Jolly Old Elf? Top, top, of, top, top of Jolly Old Elf? The, the real man is nice. It's true, yeah. I'd put, I, let's, let's put him in top, just for... All right. I'd smash. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would too. He's, he's taken a lot of smash. <laughs> I think he's done. Oh, that. is this fucking uh, Miracle, Miracle on 34th Street, yes. the original? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. That's King of Christmas for me. He won a trial saying he's Santa Claus. Yeah, yes. when he wasn't, and it's amazing. <laughs> he's just a man who just wanted to embody the spirit of Christmas. And, and he, he still won the trial mm -hmm. in, in U.S. court. Yeah, <laughs> it, he was so Sick. Santa. He won a trial. He is fucking king of Christmas. You, you, can, you can't, you can't, can we go back to the picture just for a little bit? You, you can't look at that face. It, like little that radiates, mm. <laughs> that radiates all of the Santa energy. Yes, you know? he's got dimples. He's got literal fucking yeah, dimples. Man. You can tell his cheeks are rosy. Yeah. Even if it's black and white, Even if it's black and white it shines through. His You're absolutely set, right. His I've never looked up this actor and I don't want to, but you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know his opinions on things. I don't need to know anything about this actor. The performance is <laughs> saying what it needs to say. I, I love, I love your phrasing of that. It's just like the, his Santa level just blew up my scouter. Yeah. <laughs> Destroys it. So yeah, yeah Miracle on 34, uh, Jolly Old Elf. Uh, King of Christmas. King of Christmas, okay. Uh, where where would we rank him in that? Because like, this is Santa. Yeah. Without actually being Santa. Uh, he might actually be above Ernest Santa in this Yeah, movie. I would. Even hurt. if not being real Santa, that, that caricature just radiate Santa energy. His energy is so perfect. He's so Santa, he's not Santa, but he's still Santa. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't know we all had such strong Miracle on 34th Street opinions here. I have very <laughs> strong Miracle on 34th Street uh, feelings, sure and you're about to feel one. it. The remake sucks. Oh. It just, <laughs> However, but I like him. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, um, a, he's a great Santa. He's the only reason to Wait, watch Wait, is this the, the 70s or the 90s? 90s. 90s. Oh, the yeah. 70s one is awful. Uh, oh, we're talking about the 90s. Yeah, yeah, this 90s the 90s one is okay. Yeah, the 90s one is fine, and it stars um, one of my favorite actor, uh, child actresses. Uh, why am I forgetting her name? Mara, she, Mara Wilson. Mara Wilson, yeah, thank you, yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask if that's yeah. Matilda. That's, that's, that's Matilda. Awesome. Uh, and that's, what's his name, Richard Attenborough? I think so? Yeah, yeah. Attenborough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Richard Attenborough. He comes I, across like... He, he's the old man from Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh, yeah. He's a perfect, yeah. perfect. It's perfect. And he always he's, has a little bit of like, awesome. a little bit of something behind him he's to got, smile got, that got, I kind of like. And, and he's got like a bit of edge to him yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. I like, I like, like he, 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 he can be like a... Mm. He's good in a different way from the Miracle on Thirty. Like the Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, Santa's like a per yeah, like a perfectly be. kind. Yeah, this this guy's got a little bit of something going on. A under bit there. of an edge, like you know they. You don't know why see. he's so obsessed with being a nice guy, but mm -hmm. like you know maybe he fucked up in the past or something. Yeah, no, he definitely gives me vibes of somebody who has seen some shit and then chose kindness in his old age and yeah. has now leaned into that. I wholeheartedly love this Santa. This, I genuinely this, do. <laughs> This, this one saw Vietnam and was like, I'm gonna become Santa instead. Yes, that's the, yes, yes. Uh, I, I can't put him above the uh, the original I would, I would 34th, but I could, I could see him in Kings of Christmas. Mm. Just yeah. love, yeah. Yeah. I would, like, let's- no, let's, Nom vet Santa. Nom, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this next one, I might have to explain this one. Yes, let's see. You will. This is uh, Narnia? Santa? This is Father Christmas from Narnia. Yeah. Oh. In the first Narnia, I don't know if you guys remember, there's just a scene where Santa shows up and gives them all presents, and he the presents are weapons. sick weapons. He gives them Oh weapons. my God. The Santa is an arms dealer. And bows and arrows. So this is the opposite of the, um, the Christmas, shoot the shoot your eye out one. This yeah, is, he is shoot someone else's eye out. He's actually he's like, canonically hey. the opposite. <laughs> hey, take these weapons, Kill the shit out of that, out of that fucked up witch. Protect my lion. <laughs> Kill friend. Tilda Swinton. Kill her. <laughs> Protect my lion friend Jesus, who's yeah. also here. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I Canonically, mean. Aslan is basically Jesus. Santa and yeah. Jesus are homies in this universe, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I love this Santa. I don't know if he's King of Christmas, but I love him. I, I love him too. You're right. For for the, for the sake of just like him being the exact opposite, where did we rank? Shoot your eye at Santa. <laughs> uh, he's at the bottom of Naughty. Let's put him at the, like... Top of Jolly? He's, he's gotta be in Jolly Old Elf. Does he go above Mick Foley? Mick Foley doesn't I, I think so. He a sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Top of Jolly. He's Any a... Santa who would give me a sword is top tier for me, so... <laughs> top of Jolly Old and Elf. I, just, I love how random it is in the movie, where it's just like, uh, hey, I, I'm Santa, I'm in this movie now. Or, or the book, as well. Here's some swords. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally like Cardi B's um, cameo in Fast Furious. Where I was like, Cardi B, <laughs> what are you doing here? 
All right, <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas. This is probably the Christmas movie I've seen the most just because as a child, I like this came out when I was at that age where you like rewind the VHS and play the movie over and over again. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, I was like that with Hercules. I didn't watch this movie much, so when I did finally see it, I was like, now, technically we have- I like two, the music. Technically we have two Santas in this uh, yeah, We have Sandy Claus and Santa Claus. Jack is ho horrible. Um, he's a terrible Santa. Oh yeah. And he should feel bad. Uh, <laughs> sure. But, and but, that's what this Santa says. But also this Santa said it and he wasn't even nice about it. So he's not a terribly great Santa either. I, so I, he's, not a, he's not a very powerful Santa for sure. And, and he's having a bad day. But like still, we never see him particularly. Day, a bad day. He got kidnapped by kid Halloween demons. And he almost gave died. Him a sick concert. And almost True. died. Okay, this man had every reason to look at Jack and say, "You're a fucking idiot." This is also Santa who can be kidnapped by three children. That's also true. You know what? I'm <laughs> I'm willing to put this motherfucker in meth. But alternatively, I would actually also put Jack in meth. I agree. I, 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 they're they're I think they're both equally meh as Santas. Uh, above or below soccer ball Santa. Above. <laughs> above soccer ball Santa, above or below Coke Santa? Bo uh, below Coke I, Santa. I'd, I'd put him above Coke Santa, personally. Any he, any other, like, yay? I agree like if he's trying, because I'm going to get some jeers for this. Haven't seen this movie, but... Um, he is actually a Santa. You're right. He is, he's, he is a Santa. He's not trying to sell us something. He embodies if he's trying he's to actually do mouse. good. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's also... But he wasn't invented... For that purpose, True. so I guess he's, yeah. abo he's above Coke Santa. I would rank him okay. above. All right. Kind of, kind of a, a, a grumpy guy. Yeah. All right, next one is like a bit of. Is this? It's, it's a bit of nightmare fuel for yeah. me. Yeah, ho ho horrible immediately. Is it? Wait, hold on. Is the, this the what I think it is? is Polar yeah. Express, Tom Hanks, uh, Santa. That's Jesus. That's he's <laughs> glowing. Like, um, everything horrible. about this feels hollow and this. Like, this, this scares is also, me. This is also Santa who puts kids on a train. I'm sorry. And sends them to to his place for a while, and it's just weird to do. This gives me the exact same energy as AI art does. Pathetic. That's because it, it, it it's, has it's, a similar it's energy. Like, yeah, who who was it? Like Zemeckis that got really into this shit Zemeckis, for a while? This is a Zemeckis yeah. film. Uh, he got really into this. He's still kind of into this. Uh, it's it's just, just a, this was his mom's ne like Mars needs moms era. And uh, like, this was this yeah why we predates never, it, but yeah. This is why we never got How to Frame uh, uh, like Roger Rabbit two. This right here, this shit. <laughs> I don't want Roger Rabbit 2, it's fine. I could oh, crush yeah. you. I could crush you beneath my boot and no yeah, one would what care. what she sees. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Ah, what it's she horrible. sees. It's horrible, belongs at the bottom. Yeah, and, like, I don't Below the big show that yes. like ruins things? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen the movie. I don't know if he's any good, but what I do know is that that's horrifying. I will say, Tom Hanks is a great casting for a Santa, at least for a voice. I'm just gonna so put him, the, I would put him down. I'd say there. he's actually terrible casting for a voice because- He has such a kind of voice. There, guys, it's me, Santa. Uh, he, he can, he, can, he can turn that off. He can he can deepen up his voice and be genuine. All right, I guess he's a naughty. All right, I mean, I, I, I can still argue if he's ho ho horrible, but naughty. Both him and Father Christmas. He, that motherfucker. This right motherfucker. There. Oh, that. I did a whole bit last year, uh, like sh sh like short anime film last year, about how much of an asshole this guy is. This is. God punishing you for the sins that you do. That's why he made your fall a little hell song. Yeah, oh, damn. he's Rankin Bass Santa. Yeah, Rankin. He sings a whole song. Like, here's the thing. There it's are mean. different. There are different Rankin Bass Santas, but the one in uh, the one in it's also Rudolph. Got a mutant hand. Oh yeah. Four, well, four fingers. That's just cartoons. It's also misshapen. But, yeah. yeah. But, you know, but that, that's that's a that's a deform like that's a that's a disability. It's not like you know it's Look, whatever. Do we want to talk about disformed? His eyes are literally beads. Okay. No. I I actually Sometimes. I don't mind Rankin Bass Santa, but Rudolph Rankin Bass Santa sucks. No. Yeah. If if we were if we were judging the uh, the um, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town Santa. Yeah. I'd I'd put him at the top of the list. Yeah. But he he has a villain arc, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. Is this the one that bullies Rudolph? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> I am a Chris Kringle. I'm the king of jingling. Here's the thing. He's, he, otherwise, he's mostly good Santa. So I mean, other things. I would, I would put him down in naughty. There's a level yeah, that the not. Santas get to where their mustache becomes sinister the more it goes up. There's a there's a chart where it's like this is nice. They this start is... becoming horns. Yes, exactly. Uh, unless <laughs> he is rocking a full white beard, like. 
Now, now Stash. I'm, I'm sorry. Now I'm just imagining him as the, the white beard from One Piece. My <laughs> sons. My sons as he looks the at One Piece is real. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck you, Rudolph. Uh, but yeah, naughty list. I, uh, I, I, wait, just wait. pushing Chopper I, over. I, 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 oh, yeah. At the very least, I put him at the top of naughty. I put him at the top Get of naughty because he has good moments in other movies and specials. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm just looking at a white beard going over to Chopper, just Shit, slapping him. Get out, get out of here, idiot. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one uh, fucks. Of the this Guardians. One... Yes, this this is the most bear Santa aside from Big Show. So. I won't. Uh, Actually, no. There are some more ban- bear Santas on here now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do I even have to say wood? Because yeah, yeah. He. I love his Joker tattoos. But that little guy has to watch. Oh, he can, no. He can be. He, he can He's be invited. In the, yeah, he can be in the Kringle Cuck chair. That's fine. I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's worth it. Yeah, no, he's great. I yeah. like him. I I wouldn't put him at the in Kings of Christmas, but I would I, put him at, at Jolly. Yeah, I, 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 Jolly. I, n- I never watched Rise of Guardians. So oh. I don't know much about it. You'd All like I, it. I, Yo. I, I probably would. I know it got like a huge fan base. It while. is insane. To, it is. They're horny. I am. <laughs> it is. It's a little bit of a horny movie, actually. Of course it is. But the thing that kills me about uh, Rise of the Guardians is that it could have been. It should have gotten what fucking uh, How to Train Your Dragon got. Mm. It had a bunch of characters with a ton of personality, beautifully animated. Uh, and it just had kind of a mad villain, mm. like a visually appealing villain who's just sort of mad. It's a great movie. concept of a movie. It's yeah. it's really good. They, they maybe like shouldn't have got, got, made something so close to the Avengers, and just made it from oh, another yeah. Loki. It is it is <laughs> a little bit Avengers. But did it predate the Avengers? I can't even remember. I don't uh, think it did. Yeah, no, I think yeah. it came out. I don't after. remember it being it can, in it was theaters when I worked at the movie theater though. So it was very close to the Avengers, but like a, only a little while after I think. No, so, it's so good. Oh no, no, go ahead. My question is, if could we pull the, the picture back up? Does he dye his eyebrows or the rest of his beard? I think it's just no. that the eyebrows are like one of the last things to Yeah, turn. that happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, you see, like they're starting to turn gray. Like I, I've haven't. already noticed, like mm. there's gray hairs in my beard. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> like Yeah, my hair is gonna stay brown for a while. This is gonna turn gray before the rest of it does. I wasn't sure if it was a stylistic choice, because I love it. It makes him look like he works at Hot Topic a little. Like I, I, I feel that, Topic, so like yeah, the I'm vibe. Sure, I, like I think the reason he goes in the jolly is like you know he's got this like harsh look, but then he, look at his eyes. Yeah. They're very kind Blue eyes, eyes, actually. Blue yeah. eyes, fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, that's the kind of like that's the kind of dude who yeah would work at Hot Topic, but only because he just wants to be like nice to all the young kids coming in. Yeah, I see like, him managing. Like he yeah. worked there and then he graduates to be a manager and he stays there. So the thing, the question is, does he go above Narnia? Santa. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm putting him above Narnia Santa. The thing is, like, he would give give you a sword. Yeah, no, he, he would. Yes, then Just, yes. Yeah, no, he <laughs> would. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll see it. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeding the fact that I haven't seen the movie. He's <laughs> he's awesome. He's my favorite Santa on the he, list. He's absolutely actually. a Santa who would happily give you a sword if that's what you needed. Yes. In the Jolly Old Elf category, now it's based on who would give you a weapon. Like now it, it escalates. <laughs> Which one is most likely to give me a weapon? Saint Nicholas. All right, the, the canonical oh. saint, the actual patron saint of sex workers. Rosy uh, Cheeks. He's, he's also Two-Face, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Flip a coin. Um, <laughs> I, nice. No, I would put him in meh, just he's, because. He's very meh. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, he's the basis of it, but it's like p- part of his head looks like it's on fire. Yeah. Uh, Saint, Saint Nicholas was like a, a, a Greek um, Catholic priest. Uh, he, he, you know, oh, he was no. he was known for. No. <laughs> he's a Catholic priest. Yes, I know. That oh. immediately puts him, puts him in meh. <laughs> I'm scared of him now. Immediately. That's a mugshot now. <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, that face looks like it could like actually haunt you. Mm-hmm. Now he apparently was known for being a, a very nice guy who gave oh, gifts. Um, that's why he he. he yeah, got sainthood, but I would put him in med just because there's some unknowns about this man. I mean, he's, I, he's such I, I a historical know, I don't figure. Know enough about the actual historical yeah, figure. I, I, it's from like the third century. But he does not radiate Santa energy, so at the very least, he belongs in meh. <laughs> the man who, the <laughs> man who is the it's basis not Santa for Santa. Enough. Look, Charlie Chaplin lost a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest. All right. Just, <laughs> I'd rather look at soccer ball Santa than this yeah, man. I, I, I put him at the at the bottom of bottom meh. Of meh. <laughs> Wow. Paul Giamatti, canonically a better Santa. <laughs> Santa Claus conquers the Martian. Yo! Yep. I, right. I, I'm sorry, I love Mystery Science Theater 3000. I had to throw this in here. This is a B-movie classic. 
Ho ho Morgan. horrible colonial Santa. I hate him. <laughs> he, he literally goes up there to like oh, no. give the Martians Christmas. One Martian decides to oh. kidnap Santa in order to bring Christmas joy to Mars. And what it really is is an allegory for how Western Christian society forced its culture onto other cultures. Mm. But it's also Santa That's why it's called Santa Mars. conquers the Martians. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, he's uh. beating the militant forces of the uh, uh, of the it's Western Mars. colonialist propaganda. Okay. Look, all I'm saying is you gotta go in and overthrow a despot or two. Horrible! <laughs> was he kidnapped? Freedom! <laughs> Hold on, was he kidnapped and brought here? He was kidnapped. Okay, and then he conquers them? Yes, with kindness and presence. Mm. He shows them the he shows them the joys of capitalism. Okay, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Propaganda, I, I, ho, 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 horrible. It's better, it's but it charming is. It's charming Christmas. Yeah. It's like a charming little bit of Christmas movie. That's better than it. Just because it's it, shitty doesn't mean it's automatically charming. No, that's better than it could be, you're right. But it Fair. is still capitalistic propaganda, so I do understand <laughs> more leading towards meh. I, All right, meh, just put him in meh. Get it okay, over. above or below the saint. <laughs> Below. Below. Below the saint! Damn! The saint was known for actually Being doing some, some nice right. things. Yeah. yeah. Santa saved Mars from Martians. <laughs> what does he want to sell us? Propaganda! <laughs> it's, look, they're gonna need moms eventually. Let them have Christmas for now. He's gonna make the Martians convert <laughs> to Christianity. Has anyone, anyone ever seen Mom Needs Mars? I don't no, think anyone I've seen Mars, Mars needs, needs No, I've, I've yeah. seen Mom Needs Mars. Yeah, no. It's a very Mars good on. Oh, it different. is a horrible, horrible experience. I would I've, never repeat. I've literally, you were the only person in the world who's actually seen I that did movie. It for, I did it for a review that I made. <laughs> All right, Santa with muscles. Oh. It's just Hulk Hogan in a I, Santa vest. I haven't based any of this on the actors, but I so want to say <laughs> horrible, horrible so bad. Oh, oh, I, I hate I, this man. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say this, would it not? Would not. What slurs and you, and you, does this you, one say? And he's the one you've most likely seen his dick. Yeah, I, I, look, <laughs> yes, and wow, but no. <laughs> Just the no. Python, brother. Not here, because we're not getting sued. But <laughs> also, this is the highest quality image I could find, mind that, you. <laughs> of, of, I, of a I've, still of Santa with muscles. Yeah, I've no. Uh, the name Santa with muscles already inspires meh in me. It, it, it's it's uber meh energy. And Literally, honestly, b below no, the Martian one. They put, yeah, they put no effort into making Hulk Hogan Santa. This seems like, yeah, this seems like <laughs> the most meh anything can be. Yeah, this, yeah. this is the worst wrestler Santa. I, I, would, I would put him in Ho Ho Horrible. Yeah, me too. Below Zemeckis Santa. Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess, yeah, he's so like actually meh that it does cross the line into horrible where it's like, it's so boring. He's so meh, he it's skips naughty. Worse. That man on the right in the picture is just dead. He's murdered that yeah. man. Look at, look at that. Hey, he's he, just dead. He might have but this is not the only Santa that canonically kills. Oh. Up next, Bill Goldberg in Santa's, Santa's Slay. Oh. Okay, you're right, there are a lot of wrestlers who played Santa. But they actually put effort into making Bill Goldberg look like an evil Santa, yeah, honestly, which I give them ma major props for. If you'd have told me, hey, this is a wrestler, which one it is, I never would have been able to piece that together. Now, <laughs> despite having not watched Gremlins all the way through ever in my life, for some reason this movie had, like, with the main character, had, like, weird Gremlins energy. I don't know why. It's it's just Christmas chaos. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's a horror comedy yeah, set in. Yeah, Christmas. It's a chaotic, chaotic Christmas stuff, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where he just goes around murdering people. <laughs> he does. Like the opening shot is him just murdering. Uh, who is it? It's like Fran. Dr it's like all the really annoying comedic actors of the eighties and nineties. Wow. It's like Fran Drescher. Um, oh God, what what the fuck was the uh, making copies guy? Oh, uh, Polly Shore. Polly Shore. No, not Polly Shore. That's, that's, Wait, that's, that's, that's that guy. Bob Schneider. Oh, Rob Schneider doing Polly Shore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's layers to that. Because you know, what you did was Polly Shore, but yeah. it's because that's what Rob Schneider Yeah, was. yeah that's that's Rob Schneider's like doing an impression of Polly Shore, I gotcha. guess. But. I don't know what that is, but I do know Tower of Cheese, so my head went Polly Shore. Okay, you mean his best role? <laughs> the only time that. anyone likes him? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh yeah, I remember this movie being like like the guy's grandpa is like, yes, Santa Claus is real, and he's a bad, bad person. He's it's so he's fucked actually, up. It's because canonically in this, he's actually Satan. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, they yeah. did the reveal. He, he, yeah, he lost a curling match to determine whether or not he'd have to be good for a few centuries. If you rearrange the letters of Santa, it spells <laughs> Satan. And, uh, I, I so, forgot that so they did that. This is like, aha, finally I get to be evil again, and he just goes around killing people. Like, honestly, 
Did He's a ever, really cool looking evil Santa. Did they ever, did they work in that like Santa and the Krampus are actually the same guy? And like- the, I think that's what they were playing at, but then they decided to go with Satan work in because, in. oh, we're clever and we can swap letters. That, that would have been so much more interesting. It's like, no, Santa and the Krampus is the same dude. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is kind of like the angle that the movie goes. But uh, as far as like Christmas horror comedy goes, not as good as Gremlins, but it's still kind of a fun watch if you're in for like a B movie feeling. But so he's, he's obviously definitely ho ho horrible. Yeah, he's, he's horrible. He's obviously ho ho horrible. He's the only murderer on the list. I would put him well, Futurama Santa. That's but, true. Yeah, I would I would put him below. I would put him below uh, I, Futurama Santa. Yeah, below because. Futurama Santa because Futurama Santa actually has a good mode, even though he has a good mode if you win it from him in a devil bargain. It's against his will. Okay. Who? What? This is what I have to explain. Why? <laughs> this is Sinterklaas. Oh. This is Dutch Santa. Uh, and, uh, he, he looks like, why am I here? Yeah, and he's, he's got a different vibe. He's got more of an orthodox vibe. Um, and he also has, you, you may have heard of this. He has a, his helpers are not elves. His helpers um, are one guy, but a bunch of people dressed as this guy named Black Pete. Oh yeah, I have heard of that. And, uh, it's a tradition that people have repeatedly asked Dutch people to stop doing. Yeah. Of people dressing up in blackface and giving children candy. Yeah. Ho, ho, horrible. <laughs> Just he goes in the horrible category. Bottom of it. Like. <laughs> Below Santa with muscles. Below Every, Hulk yes. Hogan. He, he okay. goes to the very bottom. <laughs> Real life blackface gets you right at the bottom. This yeah. Santa's doing slavery. <laughs> okay. I wanted to, to like display some more diverse Santas. I don't mean him that way. Don't, uh, don't use the word diverse right now. <laughs> I just meant a different cultural ideas look, of Santa because we have Santa, Father Christmas. Thank you for being culturally inclusive with Black Pete. Kurt Russell. I didn't show Black Pete. <laughs> You'll get Kurt Thanks. Russell. Smash. I like it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you know, fuck. He's probably objectively the most fuckable Santa here. Wait, wait, what is this from? Uh, this oh, yeah. is um, uh, Christmas Chronicles, which I think is another Netflix Christmas thing. Oh. Probably. <sighs> Yeah, no, that is a hot Santa. The movie probably sucks, but he's Kurt Russell. I, I yeah. mean, I I heard some like decent buzz about it when it came out, but I also never heard about it again, so. And we're talking about Santa, let's imagine there's no way Kurt Russell doesn't have a little bit of edge in his Santa. Also, this black, Santa will edge you. Black gloves? Okay. Mm. I, I, All I, right, I, she I, ate. <laughs> I, I, I dig that he's actually wearing animal fur rather than like the, you know, polyester or yeah. fluff. Yeah, you know and he kills it himself. That is a that is a fucking fit. Yeah, and, and the gray yeah, beard I, I, is like I mean it's not the classic Santa white beard, but like it it works. This is the Santa Santa baby is about. Mm. Oh yeah, okay yeah. <laughs> this is the Santa that wives cheat on their husbands with. Oh yeah, yeah Santa yeah. babe. <laughs> yeah, wholeheartedly. Yeah. Uh, where do we, where do we drop uh, Kurt Russell? Um, I, I, Out of honestly, a jolly old elf. I would body for that. I would bottom for that jolly old elf. <laughs> well, there he goes. <laughs> Next up. Oh. <laughs> Terrifying. Legal loophole Santa. Yep. The Santa uh, Claus. He's he's fine. He's just he's, fine. When you see him actually be Santa in the sequels, which I have watched, um, I I haven't he, seen a like. He's actually, no, he's, he's a pretty all right Santa. Yeah, he's he's meh. I'd put him atop of me. He, he right. I don't like how smooth his skin is here. Yeah. <laughs> That's very bad. This got this got uh, brushed hard. Blur, blur, yeah. blur, he's, smudge. He's a fucking Florida yeah, Santa. That it's airbrushed. Yeah, it got airbrushed to hell. It's not good. They, they got like they they got the rosy cheeks and the rosy nose just right though. I mean, he rate he does give that Santa energy. Yeah, despite everything. Yeah. He feels I, sunburned. So, here's the thing. He does give off the Santa energy. But other than that, it's meh. He's, he's just so mad for me. I've seen- I, 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 I accept three, that. I saw all three movies. Why? Uh, I, 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 and you haven't I seen Elf? The, I, I saw I Santa Claus 2 a lot as a kid. Oh, I, I accept the first two. Like the second one's okay, but the I, third one with Martin Short? I, I went to see it with my nephews and nieces. It was a family thing. Why? Just why would you subject? I'm why? <laughs> to disown your family. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, they don't want what's best for you if they're showing you three Santa Claus so, movies. Uh, meh. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I put him above St. Nicholas. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I'd put him above Paul Giamatti. He does. Yeah. He, he, yeah. he gives better yeah. Santa energy. Honestly, <laughs> Buffalo I'm, soccer I, ball I, Santa. <laughs> I was gonna say put him at the top of Matt because 
Otherwise, he is a good Santa. Yeah, yeah that's is, fair. Top of meh. Yeah, top of meh. If, if we had put him at bottom, a jolly old elf, I would have been okay with that. But like, for me, it's just boring. Okay. This is okay. the villain of, of the Santa Claus 2. God, it's horrifying and I hate it forever. He's He is a, he is objectively naughty lister ho ho horrible. This is yeah, the yeah. Burger this, King mask, no, right? Yeah. Like this, the, the, the fucking plastic. I, I mean, I know that's the point. Yeah. But I love the design of it as like a villainous kind of creepy design. Yeah, yeah it's it very, looks like a toy. It's so. very intentional. It reminds mm. me of, okay, so there's this horror movie that came out, I think, like last year. It's another Christmas horror movie, which I was really disappointed about. It's about like a killer robot Santa. And the trailer had me, because it's just like him going, ho, 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 walking around with an ax. And it's basically like, what if the Terminator was Santa? Right. But then I watched the movie, and he's doing no Santa-isms during his murder spree. I'm like, you missed the mark! That's, horrifically. That's worse than like Santa porn, you know? Cause yeah. like I watched the Santa porn once, don't, it's fine. Yeah, um, <laughs> down the chimney, like you say the Santa is a- He was in character the whole time to a point where I was impressed. Hold on, yeah, hold it's on. the point. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. I need to ask this. So the Santa porn, yeah. is he like ripped? He was in the costume the whole time, I think. Oh. It's just like bottoms. Boo. What, I, you know, I, you, it, I. It, it, was, it was clearly straight porn. Yeah. I guess I look, like look, that. I'm he not judging. Kept... I'm not judging you. I'm judging the porn. You just want. You just want gay Santa porn. Yeah, but if you take off the costume, he's just a he's a guy in a hat. So well, I like. No, that because he's... you, you keep the jacket on. But... Horrible. Yeah, horrible. Ho ho, horrible. Uh, he is an evil Santa, isn't he? He's evil. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's literally dressed as a dictator. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Not, he's not a murder Santa though. He's not a murder Santa. Does he so go he, at the top? He of might be top horrible? of horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Because he, he he like spends some time in the beginning like kind of just doing his job, but then he just sort of like goes goes nuts. Yeah. Okay, top of ho ho horrible. Well, under under. I'm sorry. I'm never nothing's beating few drama Santa for me in, t in terms of like ho ho horrible. <laughs> Okay. I don't yeah, uh, yeah. And and next up, uh, probably one of the more recent Santas on this list. Yeah. Harbor from uh, Violent Night. Didn't yes. watch it. Didn't yeah. watch it. It's like Taka and I watched it when he was in when we were recording for the uh, commentaries. Solid B. Loved it. Solid B. Like in not just B movie, but uh, like in terms of A movie, I'd give that an A out of ten. He also makes for a great Santa, just like a, a great like tired of this shit Santa. Yeah. He is. Is he fighting for 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 good reasons? Yes. He's trying to oh, save yeah. a child. No, no, okay. like literally, this is Santa. This it's, is this is Santa. It's, it's, this is man on fire Santa. It's Santa doing a Die Hard, basically. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm. No, like they were like, okay, but what if Die Hard was actually full on Christmas? <laughs> Let's make Chris Kringle himself, fucking Bruce Willis, give him a little bit of magic and let him just go to town yeah, he, on a bunch of like evil terrorist dudes, and it's so good. Led by, I think, is it John Leguizamo? Yeah, yeah, he, he's, he he makes for a great, like, bad guy. Oh yeah, John Leguizamo is only gonna get better as a villain as he gets older mm -hmm. and like- Hey, Chris Kringle, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> literally, like, he, he plays the Hans Lander role. It's like, so you're Santa, huh? Well, I hated Santa. You never visited me as a kid. Yeah, you were always on my naughty list. Just, yeah, just, <laughs> like, I fucking, besides the fact that David Harbour so would smash. Holy shit! I, I, I'm like, like for me, David Harbour is just sort of a non-entity to me. I like, I, I don't like Stranger Things, and uh, I, okay, and yeah. I like because Stranger Things is nothing. Okay. And, and, <laughs> and admittedly, his and I and I watched and the other only other thing I saw him in was uh, Black Widow, Which and he was nothing in that either. No, he's, <laughs> unfortunately, David Harbour is a man who in Stranger Things is phenomenal, except for season three. I think they totally fucked his character up there. But like he keeps getting fucking cast in horrible stuff. Hellboy two. I fucking no, it wasn't Hellboy two. It was no, just, no, it was just two. a Hellboy yeah, remake. Hellboy, it was the, mm. sorry, it was the Hellboy it's, reboot. Unfortunately, he also had to follow up Ron Perlman's perfect Hellboy. Yeah, so. mm. but but he was such a good pick though. The he, movie yeah, just if, sucked. If they had a better script. Yeah, the like the Hellboy reboot and sucks. a better director. And then he was in fucking Black Widow as the one of the worst characters in all of the MCU. It's not he, is, he literally ruins every scene that he's in in Black Widow. And but in he, this movie, I think he makes a great Santa. Yeah, I, I yeah, would sorry. not put him sorry. like uh, in in terms of. I, I'd put him at the top of Jolly Elf. I he's not jolly. Yeah, no, I, no, I'm, no. So, I'm well, sorry. He's well, like 
look, he's he's trying. He wants to be jolly. He he's, desperately wants he's to. Wanting to be jolly isn't. I, I put him at the bottom of jolly because he's not jolly. Yeah, no, I, put him at put him at the bottom of jolly. But okay. I, very angry, I, I, I'm not taking jolly as literal. I'm taking it as <laughs> yeah. step below well, king of Christmas. I will say this. I will say this. For me, he's like in the middle of the road here, just because he's he's not the perfect embodiment of Santa in terms of like oh you know the sweet the, the Christmas I, I, spirit. I put him above the Arthur Christmases because because they yes. forgot what Christmas was about. And he didn't. Yeah, he never. <laughs> well, he never actually, forgot what Christmas was about. He just like got he, tired of everybody else forgetting what it yes, was about. Actually, yeah. that that is a thing I, for him. He was he was struggling because the world felt like it was just losing all of its joy. And then he meets this little girl who he has to go save and learns how to reload Christmas again. And it's a fun. Oh, movie. so it is Arthur Christmas, kinda. Kinda. <laughs> But I'm sorry, it's a good, it's a fun movie, and I love David Harbour, and I wish he'd be cast in better things. And this is our list. Yes. This, is, this is where we rank our Santas and Hogfather. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <For> Christmas. <laughs>